What's up everybody, it's Captain Brando and have you purchased tokens and can't find them in your MetaMask? Well, this is how you add tokens to MetaMask. So let's jump right on into it. All right guys, first off, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm here for entertainment purposes only for you all to enjoy and you will always make your own decisions because you will always do your own research, guys. So today, we're gonna talk about how to add tokens to MetaMask, so let's jump on into it. I'm gonna walk you guys through. Uh, this is a Twitter here. This is Traveland Crypto. He has been posting all sorts of tokens that he has made me win on. So I respect this guy. I'm gonna give him a shout out right here and show you all the audience. Travel and Crypto on Twitter, and I'm gonna walk you through how I would add a token based on this research here. And always do your own research, guys, always. I'm just gonna do this quick. If you wanna jump in and, and learn about the token, please do so, because they could very well fail. Do know that it's your own risk, it's always a risk. So I'm just gonna walk you through kind of how I would audit this token, just looking at the chart, and we all see it. First off, holy cow, that thing is taking off. I start there, you know, you look at the graph, then the total supply, 10 million, which is really, really low, and there are only $44,000 in it. So this possibly is most likely a meme token. There's not a lot here. There's usually a website link. So again, always do your own research, guys. But let me show you how you can purchase it. So first I would hit trade and then you can see my BNB here. Let's do 0 0.03. That's uh, 2000 of these guys. So we're gonna hit swap. MetaMask is gonna come up and that is the gas fee there. Once it swaps, you guys can see up at the top here the in the URL, that is the token ID. You're gonna copy that. The other thing to do is always check out the actual token contract. You can do that on uh, BSC scan here, and this will tell you what's going on with the token as well. There's only 188 addresses on this one. And, oh, it did not want to buy the token. Um, sometimes that to me is a massive error, or actually just right here, we saw 10 grand get dumped in this guy. So that could have been it. So once you have the token ID there, guys, go up to your MetaMask extension. If you don't have MetaMask installed, you don't have the extension, you gotta start there. You can check out my other videos. If you have not hit subscribe, please hit subscribe. Check out all my videos on my channel, teaching you guys all about crypto and crypto gaming and NFTs and tokens and the whole series. And I'm gonna be coming out with a lessons course to teach you all how to get into crypto the right way and not get scammed. Cause this token itself could very well be a scam. So I'm only using it as an example. Please don't follow this and always do your own research. And we are, we now have the token ID up at the top right here. We copied it and this is how you add it to MetaMask. Click on your extension and I'm actually going to go into a different account because I have so many tokens, guys, it's unreal. Okay, so in this account, I scroll down and import tokens. You're gonna hit import tokens and then token contract address. Paste what you copied there. Now you can see the token symbol that is there, how many decimals, and then add token. Import tokens and voila. Now the token is added, but always make sure you are on the right mainnet, guys. So to do that, if you're buying on Ethereum, you need to be in the Ethereum mainnet or Binance in there or Maddox for Polygon. To do that, click on top here in your MetaMask. When you have it open, you see all of the test nets and main nets and networks here. Currently, we are on Binance. So make sure that you have selected the right main net first before you add the token because it will get complicated. And I wish you all best of luck. I'm going to get out of here. I'm Captain Brando. Peace, love, harmony. Peace out.